I do what I want, when I want, and I'm not gonna let anybody in any position of authority tell me what to do. You are now the number one contender for the title at Insurgents in a fatal four way, but maybe you should get a bit of a scouting mission tonight. A gauntlet match, let's say, where you face every man in the match, one after the other after the other. One down, two to go. Talk about a sore loser. Shawn Michaels softening up Finn Balor for when he eventually does face CM Punk. He's actually hesitating to pin Finn Balor. He doesn't want to beat him this way. Telling the referee, Are you sure you don't want to stop this? And, and Balor rolls up Styles. But meanwhile, Finn Balor has to contend with a third match for God's sake. It's going to go for a cover. Oh, but Balor kicks out. Balor's not going to be humiliated that easy. And it's over now, obviously. He is the champion now, but we will see what happens when it's every man for himself in the Fatal 4 head Insurgents. And here's AJ Styles, who earlier was reluctant to put Balor away, and now he's he's telling Michaels and Punk, just leave it. He's gonna try and check on him now, but oh no! Michaels tried the sneak attack, and so did Punk! And now Styles having none of it, the forearm spring! Styles clashed to Michaels, and what a talk about strong alliances. Heading into that fatal four-way, have we seen another one emerge? They show their weapons, and they shoot their bullets. AJ and Bala, is this the alliance to top of the world champion? When this whole company started, I never thought I would see the day, but NLW has hit 50 episodes. And our historic 50th episode, we are only one episode away from our next pay-per-view, Insurgents, where we will see a fatal four-way for the heavyweight championship, and also a match between an American Dragon and Olympic gold medalist. But that's not all, we're also going to see Batista and Brock Lesnar in No Holds Barred, plus Edge challenges Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental title, and as a punishment for what happened last week, Edge spearing Seth Rollins, the commissioner has made this matchup to punish Edge. Here's going one-on-one -on -one with the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, and that is tonight, but also, it is a tag team match. Former leaders of the Bullet Club, AJ Styles and Finn Balor, teaming up to take on the alliance of CM Punk World Champion and Shawn Michaels. This before all four are set to take part in a huge Fatal 4-Way main event at Insurgents for the Heavyweight Championship. And we kick off our 50th episode spectacular with Mr. 316 himself, the Commissioner, along with the other Commissioner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here he is, 100% pure wood bass. And he is going to address this audience on our historic 50th episode. And although we haven't seen him on TV in a while, he's been very busy behind the scenes, but what has he got to say? I would just like to say a huge congratulations are in order for No Limits Wrestling. We've hit 50 episodes, oh hell yeah! Now you haven't seen me in the past couple of weeks, and right off the bat, I would like to apologize to Finn Balor in particular for not being here last week and letting the commissioner make a jackass out of himself. But the reason you haven't seen me on TV for a while is because unlike my business partner, the commissioner, I'd rather work behind the scenes making this company run as effectively as possible for the benefit of the audience. 
Now last week I was stuck in a conference call with the board of directors discussing myself and the commissioner's business partnership. And what it boils down to is, he's got some issues with me, he said to the board of directors, and I, meanwhile, found him to be one insufferable son of a bitch. So we were around the table and we were working out ways of how we can get our relationship back on track or perhaps branch out. We've been looking at possibilities of starting up a new show, maybe alternating shifts, or maybe compete against each other and have ourselves some sort of draft. Now what that means is that I would have a roster and he would have a roster and we could work alone and I wouldn't have to be constantly pissed off with him. Because I'll tell you what, working with the commissioner means I have to struggle not to give his ass a stunner every single day. But there's a lot of young hungry cats in the back who want a chance to shine and that is what I believe the draft could do for this roster. We're still working out the kinks of it, but I mentioned that those young hungry cats in the back are the future of this company and I want to stop talking and let them show you what they've been showing everybody for 50 episodes and that is that this is the best damn wrestling company on the planet and that's the bottom line cause Stone Cold said so well, of all the people I expected to come out right now I didn't expect this guy here is a man who has been with Nolan Miss Wrestling from the beginning. He was our first world champion. And although he hasn't been as successful as of late, particularly last week when he lost to Big E in the King of the Ring quarterfinals, but here he is riding out on his motorcycle, apparently going to speak to Austin. But The Undertaker, a legend in this company, if there was a Hall of Fame, he would no doubt be the first inductee. He has done so much to help the exposure of this company, and... Well, he's in the ring with the current commissioner, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he has got a microphone, so he's going to speak, but what has The Undertaker got to say on our historic 50th episode spectacular? Steve, there's a lot I have to get off my chest. I have been with this company since the very first episode. I was the first NLW heavyweight champion. But the people out there, they may have forgotten what The Undertaker has accomplished here. And why might that be? Well, what happened? I won the Royal Rumble. And what did I do then? I lost. And what did I do after that? I lost to AJ Styles. I couldn't capture the World Championship. And then, when Big E decided to try and take on the Phenom, I couldn't put him down. He came back up, he beat me, and knocked me out of the King of the Ring. I don't feel like The Undertaker. I don't feel like the man who struck fear into the hearts of every mere mortal. I just feel like plain old Mark Calloway. I can't focus. I am not the man that I used to be. And quite frankly, I don't know how I can look myself in the mirror every morning when I wake up and I go to work. I'm gonna get on my motorcycle and I am gonna go home. I don't know when or if you'll see me back Stone Cold, but I can tell you this. The Undertaker that you knew is dead. What does that mean? Is he leaving? Austin asking the same thing. Is... Is he going away? The Undertaker... A deflated Undertaker... Sounding... Very somber, and he's leaving. And on our 50th episode, the man who started it all is gone. Is this the last we've seen of Undertaker? After 50 historic episodes, I can't even remember if there has been such a bizarre opening to a show as that. The Undertaker? That was completely out of character for him. He has lost all his confidence, it seems, and now he says he's going home. 
Well, I can say personally, I hope he comes back soon and I hope he comes back better than ever because we're going to miss him if he is out of action for a while. Man, very strange stuff. But also, we have news of a draft perhaps coming. We don't know. Austin apparently working something out. Hopefully, we'll get more information on that in the coming weeks. And not only is this the historic 50th episode of No Limits Wrestling, it is also the last episode until our next pay-per-view, Insurgents. And at Insurgents, there is going to be a fatal four-way match for the x Division Championship, and it's going to be an Ultimate X match. Adam Cole putting the title on the line against Pentagon Jr., John Morrison, and Neville. And last week, champion Adam Cole was in the match against Neville. And he had hired Pentagon Jr. as his bodyguard for the evening to keep out John Morrison, who is constantly denied a title match to. But Pentagon Jr., his security guard, was unsuccessful, him and Morrison getting at it, and the distraction allowed for Neville to pick up the victory. But in the aftermath of that, Rowan Reigns decided to cause merry hell once again, attacking everybody in sight, and it looked as if he was going to spear Adam Cole through the back. Barricade. However, Adam Cole betraying Pentagon Jr.'s trust, pulling him in front of the spear, spearing Pentagon Jr. right through the barricade. And this past week on Metal, Adam Cole once again refused to compete. He was in the hospital having tests done, apparently, and he chose that was the perfect time to badmouth all the competitors he was going to face at Insurgents. But Pentagon Jr. was having none of that, came to the hospital to get revenge for what happened the week before, almost breaking the arm of Adam Cole. Now, what Pentagon did to Adam Cole is why Adam Cole is not here tonight, but he will be defending the title in Ultimate X at Insurgents. Tonight, however, it's a triple threat preview. John Morrison, Pentagon Jr., and the man about to make his way to the ring, Neville. And it is Neville who is looking to bounce back after being knocked out of the King of the Ring. Part of the reason for that was being beaten down by Adam Cole and Pentagon Jr. the week before and also that massive spear by Roman Reigns that meant that Neville's ribs were injured and they're not going to be a hundred percent here tonight after all Bray Wyatt worked on them this past week and not going to wait for the bell starting the match themselves there's a chop and now Morrison disaster kick to Pentagon Jr. and the shooting star press this is going to be a hard one to call and if you think the action here is fast paced and exciting just wait until Ultimate X for the X Division Championship at Insurgents. There's a corkscrew, but Pentagon moves. Morrison hits the floor below. And now Neville running off the ropes. And there's that corkscrew dive. Twisting in midair and moonsaulting over the top. And now here goes Pentagon. So big on here. And Pentagon Jr. takes up both men. And already, this triple threat X Division match has got off to a crazy start. Who is going to gain the advantage heading into Insurgents? An environment of no limits will ultimately lead to a rebellion. A common force which is united as one. There are many tests you must go through to reach the promised land. The lawful authority have no control whatsoever on these wrestlers. Resistance, mutiny, insurgents. NLW presents Insurgents live on pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this freeway X Division matchup. As it continues here, triple threat going on. There's a pop up, Hurricane Rana, and Morrison is stunned. And now Neville, there's a tilt roll into a DDT. And this is just a taster of the athleticism and the high octane offense that you're going to see in Ultimate X at Insurgents when the X Division Championship's on the line. When it's also going to feature the X Division Champion, Adam Cole. You saw the sling blade there by Pentagon Jr. Clutches at his ribs and now throws him off the ropes and there's another Hurricane Rana. Now tries to get up and the has been disaster kick by Morrison. All three men are down. Such amazing athleticism and you gotta wonder what Adam Cole's thinking. He must be at home right now. There's a super kick by Pentagon. And now both are down and Neville tries to catch his breath. And are we gonna see another arm break is Pentagon going to snap the arm but there's a kick by Neville kicks him away and now the wheelbarrow into the little backstabber and Morrison with the assist that time Neville is down and there's a drop kick by Morrison and Pentagon down again and he goes to the corner what is going on now? 
Starship Pain, perhaps, for Pentagon Jr. moves out of the way. And this fast-paced action is catching them off guard. Frankenstein reversal, and there you see, drop kicks him out of the ring. And while Neville is down, tries to catch his breath in the ring. Package pile driver. Package pile driver by Pentagon Jr. Hooks a leg. And Pentagon Jr. wins this triple threat matchup. And it is Pentagon Jr. with the victory before Insurgents. And he is the man with all the momentum on his side. Good grief, what a move, and Morrison may have compressed his neck with it. And Cerro Miedo. Let's take a look at the replay of the action here, where you see the reverse Frankensteiner, and then Morrison was all alone in the ring because Neville was kicked out by Pentagon, and that left Morrison in the ring to be hit with a package pile driver by Pentagon Jr., if I were them, I'd just be lucky that I didn't get my arm broken. And as Adam Cole probably watched his arm from a hospital bed for real this time, he must be thinking to himself, is this what I've got to deal with? Is this what I have to deal with at Ultima X? Because for the man who walks out of Ultima X as the x champion, they're going to be going through such a war at Insurgents. Pentagon Jr. with momentum on his side, heading into Ultima X at Insurgents. And also at Insurgents is going to be the King of the Ring final, and the semi-finals are here tonight. Let's take a look now at the brackets for the tournament, and we see that tonight we're going to see Kevin Owens and Bray Wyatt, and Big E vs Galloway. That match is happening right up next, but first of all, let us show you the match that The Undertaker earlier tonight was referring to. It was last week, Big E vs Undertaker, an unchained rematch, Big E trying to avenge his loss at the pay-per-view to The Undertaker. And it was a heavy-hitting back-and-forth contest, which Big E won with a big ending from the top rope. And now that Big E can claim that he drove The Undertaker out of this company, how is Galloway going to be able to stop him? And as they stare down in the middle of the ring, both men have an incredible amount of momentum behind them, but who is going to be able to harness it to win this matchup? And there you see, out of the bat, out of the gate, I should say, right off the bat, and there you go again. A clubbing blow to the stomach of Galloway, the splash in the corner after picking him up and slamming him into the turnbuckle. He looked for the spear. He looked for the spear off the apron, but Galloway had a counter. And now the big ending. No! Counted into a future shot DDT. Here's the cover, but Galloway couldn't get the free that time. And already, all the men in this match have hit in their big moves to kick off. And now, Galloway looks for the Claymore kick, but he got caught out. And look at the strength of Big E. Flips him over in midair. And now, Galloway's on the floor. And looks for a spear, no! Caught out with the post. One, and now roll up, two, roll up by Galloway! Three. And Galloway's done it! Galloway has rolled up Big E! And this has got to be one of the shots of the tournament so far! And that's funny to say, because we said that about Big E beating The Undertaker last week. But after that huge win, Galloway has scored a huge upset. And you have to call it for what it is, it is an upset. Big E, the momentum on his side, he caught the Claymore kick, flipped him over, and then ran into the ring post, and I don't think we're even a minute into this matchup, and Galloway rolled up Big E. Apparently Big E got too overconfident, and he's refusing to leave. He's refusing to leave the ring, and you can see the security personnel asking him to leave. Oh, no! I'm getting sick of this, honestly. Roman Reigns is back again. Oh, and Biggie kicks him in the face. And now Biggie goes for a spear, but rolls to the outside. And what is his deal? What does he want? Roman Reigns again attacking. Somebody on oh, a spear. Onto the runway from the ring. And as if Biggie's night couldn't get any worse, Roman Reigns turns up. And 
It's all very well and good. He's causing merry hell out here. But I want to know why Roman Reigns is attacking all these people. Anyway, a chaotic start to our 50th episode spectacular. But still to come tonight, Brock Lesnar and the Beast Incarnate goes one-on-one -on -one with the ultimate opportunist edge. That is in our next part. Lesnar Edge, it is up next. Hello? Is anyone there? Come on, man, I know you're there. You know what, fine, if you're not gonna respond, I've, I've gotta get this off my chest, man. I, I've not been myself. I need you. I, You know, I keep losing matches. The fan support is still there, but I don't know if that's enough. I need more. I, I can't focus. I can't win. I'm, I'm not the man I used to be, and I'm having a real tough time, man, and I need your help. Please, please help me. Is that true? Yes, I, I, I need help, and you're the only one I can talk to. Very well. I will help you, oh yes. But first, you have to harness that feeling inside you that is making you act this way. You need to contact the seven deities at once. We need to delete those concerns you have, oh yes. And once again, Brother Nero, you'll be feeling wonderful, and your career will once again be absolutely intoxicating, oh yes. When I'm done with you, you'll make sure that Wrestling Unlimited will be broken, oh yes. Delete, delete, delete.